Today I want to show you how to wrap up your bouquet, the different couple different ways you can do it, how to finish it off. Um, I made this fall bouquet last week and I've got the ribbon already. I, I cut my ends down as close as I possibly can to the same shape. And if you have wire sticking out, you could take your glue gun and kind of go along the bottoms, just kind of put a little bead on the top there to seal them up so there's no sharp edges or points to it anywhere. Just go ahead and do that, let it cool off. Then you take your floral tape and you want to probably rewrap with your floral tape the best you can around. It's going to hide your stems. Now if I didn't have these wiry stems here, I would probably go ahead and just leave it and wrap it with, with uh, ribbon. But since I have a couple different colors, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it. And I usually use green and I did use green and now I over wrap it with white floral tape. You just slightly pull on the tape. If you pull real hard, it's going to break off and you got to start all over, which is fine. You just overlap it and start again. You want to overlap them. The whole point of this, the white tape, is to cover up the darkness of the green tape because I'm going to put ivory ribbon over, over the green. It just kind of hides it a little bit better. Going all the way down to the stem here, at the very bottom. Now you can wrap it over your, your bottom piece there, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to take and sit my bouquet down and take a piece of ribbon, maybe two of them that are long enough to go over the edges of your bouquet here and overlap them. Let's see, I'm going to go over the bottom here, make it long enough so you've got both sides. Now this tape is kind of sticky, it's got like a waxy coating to it, so now that'll kind of stick to it a little bit. Now I'm going to go the other direction, you're going to make like a cross over it and then pin your edges down. If you need to, take your glue gun and hold it in place, you know, kind of dab a little bit of glue there. It's not going to hold like that one, is a little bit sticking up a little bit more than I want. I'll move it. I may go ahead and dab a little bit of glue on there just to hold it down a little bit for that corner. I'll go back over and do this corner. Do all of those. Fold them down a little bit just so they stay in place real good. Okay. Now that you've got that wrapped up, you're going to start your ribbon. Now, I... I like to use satin ribbon, this really soft, soft, flimsy satin ribbon on the handles because it just looks nice. But um, it's hard to make a bow out of that, so I'm not going to make a bow today. I'm going to wrap it up, um, show you a basic, and then I'm going to do a samurai, what they call a samurai braid over the top. So I'm going to kind of tuck those bottoms in. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit of glue down just so they don't stick up here. I don't like the way that's looking like that. Press them down and try and get as close to that edge over it as you can. Pull it tight, very tight. Tuck that in if you need to. Really, really, really tight. I don't like the way that looks either, so maybe overlap it a little bit. And slowly work your way up the handle. You can see what I'm doing there. Work your way up. Overlapping just a little bit, maybe an eighth, quarter of an inch. You can see as you go along where the top of your ribbon is. Keep going up, pulling it tight as can be. Now your hands are probably going to be a little sticky from that foil tape, and I usually advise washing it off, but it takes some type of cleaner to do that. Maybe if you're going to polish remover if you have it, but that is very abrasive, so wash it off really good or hard on your skin, or you have goof off and use that. But I don't have those handy right now, so I'm just going to deal with it and try to touch it as much as I possibly can avoid. So I'm going to wrap it all the way up to where my floral tape starts. And once you get to that point, cut it off several inches longer than that. Make sure you have some good sharp scissors. Okay. Then I'm going to go and glue a dab on the ends, a little strip if you possibly can, on the end and fold it up to a point. 
If you can see what I did there, if you can or not, folded it up to a point. See that? You can't see it, can you? I just folded a point, so one corner up, and then I'm going to, or do it in the other direction, actually, that's probably better, to fold your top half down. Let me glue that a little bit. Fold your top section down to a point. Press it down. Okay, now you can see what I've got there. Now pull that all the way over to the edge and you can glue it down or fold it under. If you need to, you can even sew it. Sometimes I like to sew them, but fold the end under. There's a little thread sticking out there that I don't like, so I'm going to cut it off. Dab some glue on that corner again. Catch that under. Now I'm going to dab some more glue on that piece, the whole end there, and fold it up like so. I think I'm going to press it down so it's staying. Okay, that's a basic wrap. Now, if you're going to do just a basic wrap, you probably want a bow, and bows don't hold up very well with this type of ribbon. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do a samurai braid. Not try, I am going to do a samurai braid. It takes quite a bit of ribbon to do that. So, I'm going to roll out quite a bit. Depends on how long your braid is. You want to meet your your ends and find the halfway point. There's halfway. Fold it in half. Now you don't want to use anything longer than the uh, one and a half inch ribbon. That's perfect because it's thick enough to give you um, good coverage and when you twist the braid. Any wider, it's, it's just not, it's going to crinkle up too much. Any smaller, it's not going to just layer right. So this is the perfect length that you want. And it can be a little tricky when you do this. Maybe lay your bouquet down. It's not going to smash them. Trust me, these come in smashed when you get them, when we get them at the store. And I'm going to figure out where my front is. This is the front right here. So I'll start with my middle right in the front. Overlap it. Make sure you're not crinkle it up. You want it to lay as flat as possible. Now you're going to twist it wherever your front is. You can see that? See where it's twisted? Try to keep your satin side up. If you can see where I twisted it. Okay, keep your satin side up and pull it back around to the back side. You can always reshape your bouquet later, so don't worry about that. So, pull it around the back side and pull it around the front. Try and keep your ribbon straight so you have all the satin sides turned up. One side's going to go down a little bit more than the other. Just bring them up forward. Now, find your braid front. You gotta let go of one side, make sure you're holding the other side. And you're going to overlap them again. You go overlap them, bring one side up, and back around. Did you see that? Up and around. And you're bringing it back in reverse. You're just kind of catching the ends like that. So that's what you have to let go. Catching the ends like that. Oops. You do it, I need to let go of that one. Okay. Actually, I want to bring this one up a little bit. You can bring these tighter in together by keeping your weave 
closer together. You don't have to wrap it down further. So I've got two leaves here. Let me get that bottle out of the way so I don't keep tangling it. Make sure you keep your braid straight. Keep your braid straight. You want it to be even with the front of your bouquet. Go back down again, around. Try and keep the shiny side up if you possibly can. If not, don't worry about it. Make that one to be your first wrap around. front again. If you can see what I'm doing. Bring it around to the front again. You see them overlapping there? And twist it around. You want to make sure the most important thing is to keep your, your braid part even. You want them to all be even lined up. You can see I've got it lined up there. Trying to be. And then bring it back around to the back side. Bring it tight, tight, tight. Check around the front side again. Overlapping. Pull it tight. Twist it around, this back, catching it around and back in the same direction it came from. It's going to be your fourth braid. Bring your ribbon back around. To the front. Okay, now I'm going to twist it again, keeping that braid as straight as possible. You can see that. I might have room for one more. Work your braids up. I'm not sure if I do or not. I might just tie a bow at the top there. So I'm going to overlap them. Okay. Now that I'm back at the top, I don't have room for another one. So what I'm going to do is tie a knot. Actually, I could just tie a bow. Usually bows don't hold up very well with satin ribbon and I like to usually wrap it with tool but I'm just going to do a simple bow with this one. Tie that tight so it stays. Make sure it's in the right direction. Tie a simple bow and if you bring your ribbon around that way over your hand you're going to get the top side of the ribbon instead of the bottom side. It'll set, stay satin on the top and just Pull them tight, like so. And if you want to do a second loop, you can. I'm not sure how it's going to look. Let me try doing a second loop to see how it looks. See what it looks like with one loop. Let's try a second one and see if I can get this to lay right. You don't want the knots to be bulky. Go over. So if it does begin to get bulky, then you could um, make a separate bow and put it on there. Just tie it into a knot, tie it off. But I think it's going to be okay. See that? How it looks? I think that's good, pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to take my ribbon and cut it to a point the length of your handle, like that, and call it done.